Hi everyone, today we'll talk about the crafting system and how it was implemented in the game. If you have seen my previous video, you might already have an idea, but we'll be covering it in a little bit more detail. I could have created a separate system, however, and taking inspiration from other RPGs, using the spell system creates a lot more interesting possibilities. We can buff a player every time he crafts a special item or requires special buffs to be present. Now, crafting has its own set of requirements that need to be met, such as ingredients, materials or regions, sometimes specific locations and being capable of learning or unlearning crafting skills. So I added some parameters in the spells, the spell editor, that allows to specify required regions. A value higher than zero means it will consume that amount of the specified region, and the value of zero means it requires it but does not consume it, which can be useful if you need a special hammer, cauldron or another tool specified to that craft. This can also work in our advantage to create interesting challenges that the players need to surpass to be able to craft an item, like obtaining a rare drop or doing a craft related quest. Adding regions to the spell system was straightforward and I validate before the cast, so in this pre-cast phase and the execution phase, just before the spell effects are executed, uh, where we check again for the regions and consume them. To allow some crafts to be done in specific locations, we could have these locations have a hidden aura applied and then we only need to add required auras to the spells and spell system. This is in any case useful for spells in overall, for example you might need to have a specific buff to be able to cast a powerful spell. And this is great because not only we extend the crafting system, but at the same time the underlying spell system. This also required adding more validations to the spells pre-cast phase and execution phase, and that was also straightforward since we need only to verify the player auras. So far so good, but how do we learn new crafts or unlearn a whole crafting profession? To start this for now, I added the ability to the servers to grant or remove spells from players. So if I click an item that uh, teaches me a specific craft, then the server can grant me uh, my player access to a new spell that is the new craft, and I will get the message that I just learned something new. Now, this is a basic crafting system that sits on top of the spell system, but it has the basic building blocks that let me create fully-fledged crafting professions in the game. It's also very flexible, and because it sits on top of the spell system, it creates so many opportunities to create interesting combinations of spells, buffs, crafts, quests, locations, and even during boss encounters. Speaking of which, what is your favorite crafting profession in role-playing games? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, it helps the content be discovered by more people. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. If you are new to the channel, I am publishing devlogs and sharing my experience with creating an MMORPG in Unity. You can see my previous devlogs since May 2019, and there is a lot of material that I haven't posted yet from the very beginnings. And I plan to publish some of it later on. So if you want to get notified when new videos are out, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon. Because I am a small content creator, smashing the like button will help me out a lot.